This is the year for AI agents. Now, basically, we are using AI agents or we are trying to use them for different domains or for different businesses. Now, when it comes to coding, of course, we have different uh, AI assistants available for the coding or we have some agents using which you can build projects. Now, one of the problem with AI is as developers, we make mistakes in the same way AI are also making mistakes. But then if you observe, things are improving day by day. Now, a few months ago, I was using GitHub Copilot. I loved it. I mean, of course, it has its own issues. But then I, when I see the possibility of what you can do or how it will help you as a developer, I was amazed. Now, working in Java for a long time, in fact, I work with different languages and primarily I work with Java. And one of the best IDE for Java is IntelliJ. Now, of course, IntelliJ has its ultimate version. It has its community version and community version is free. Ultimate, when you want to build projects, it will help you to speed up the process. So it makes sense to invest there. And then I was using IntelliJ with Copilot. Then I realized, okay, JetBrains got their own AI assistance. So I tried that as well. Again, I have not done much with AI assistance to even compare that with GitHub Copilot. Now, last month, I got to know, in fact, in Jan itself, Jan end, I got to know about Juni, which is the AI agent. I mean, it's a coding assistance agent, and it will help you to complete your task. Unfortunately, uh, it's not publicly available. So it's still into AAP, which is early access program, and you have to join the waiting list. Now, finally, I got my access. Now, if you talk about this Juni, it says explore a new way of coding with the coding agent by JetBrains. And I did something good with it. So I will show you what I have then done and then uh, we'll see how Juni works and how do we do it. So basically, I was doing some experiment with Juni and I thought, OK, what kind of app you can build? Now, basically, if you want to differentiate between AI assistance and the coding agent, basically what you do is in AI assistance, of course, if you want help so you can ask you can set the prompt and it will give you answers now as a developer you have to include those files or those changes in your project manually so you have to say copy paste or maybe uh, there are buttons in some of the ideas where you can say inject this code and that should work but then if you really think about development okay so let's say you need uh, assistance with you now instead of just giving you suggestions or code what if you specify the task and the AI assistance, which should be, I mean, in this case, agent, basically take control of your IDE and create the project structure, creates the files for you, understand your project structure, and based on that, it will modify the files. And that will be amazing. And that's what I was expecting, and that's what we got. Okay, so this is the project which I built, which is movie management, just to keep it very simple. And I wanted to uh, manage this, like manage uh, the movie names, ratings, year, cast, and... Okay, so this are the sub update and delete. And it took me around 15, 20 minutes to build the entire stuff. And maybe you're a pro developer, you'll be saying, okay, I can do that in 10 minutes. You can, okay? So I'm not saying AI is more powerful than human at this point, but it will help you. And AI is evolving as the machines are getting faster. I think this will be much faster in future. And I will show you why it takes at least 15 minutes to do that. Uh, if I have if provide a powerful machine to just to complete that task, it might have done it in 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, the complete thing, okay? Now, this is working, and it's not like it will work every time. Of course, there are some issues with the layouts, if you can see. Uh, this is done by AI, the entire UI and the backend. So who needs full set all open now? I mean, of course, you need to know. I will talk about it in some time. Why? Uh, learning technology is also important. Okay, so if you see, this is the search movie option here, and I can search by name. So let's say I want to search a movie which starts with D, and if you search, so you will get all the movie list which starts with D, and you can see it's it has that, or maybe it has the word D. But if I say dark, and if I say search, and it will say Dark Knight, one of my favorite movie. The rating is not 9.3, I just modified it because I love the movie. The actual rating for this movie is 9, I think. Okay, so you can just uh, let me know. And I've updated the rating and it should be nine now. Yeah, you got it here. So those operations are working. I've not tried add movie. Uh, you can try it out. I just wanted to show you how I built this. Okay, not I, how my assistant has done this. And not the only project. There are two projects which I've experimented with. One is the movie uh, management. And second 
is this Social Blade. Now, basically, if you remember, if you know, there is a website called Social Blade using which you can get the stats of a particular YouTube channel or Instagram. So I try to mimic that as well. And let me show you how this works. In fact, how this looks like. So I'll stop this one and start the Social Blade. I should have done on different port numbers, but I'm lazy. Uh, I'm using the same port, so I have to stop and start. And this time, if I start with that and enter, so this is the Social Blade copy with YouTube stats. And uh, this is not working. So if I click on, it has given some suggestions and I've not even mentioned that I'm, I'm Telesco, but it says Telesco. I don't know how AI got to know. Maybe they have searched my profile. Uh, but if I click on stats, it is giving some wrong YouTube channel. But if I search for Telesco, it shows the stats of Telesco. Okay, so you can, this, this works. I just have to update my YouTube API key and it worked, otherwise it will not work. For Mr. Beast, it shows the correct one. Uh, Ted, I've not tried. Okay, it works. So these are the two things I have done with the help of Juni and it took around one hour to do both. Let me show you how Juni works, okay? So this is the ID and uh, let me just do something with Fresh. In fact, when I was doing this, now since Juni takes a lot of time to do that, I will show you how it did what I have asked for. So we'll start with, uh, movie controller, okay, or the movie management. So this is Juni, which you can add as a plugin. Now, the only problem is Juni at this point works only on the ultimate version of IntelliJ and some of the IDs, but for IntelliJ idea, it's only ultimate version. That's one issue. Second, uh, it's paid, but then when you join the waiting list, it will give you some free access for a few days. Third, it works only on Linux and Mac. They don't have support for Windows yet, but I, I'm sure they will be getting the update. Now what you do is basically, when you get the access, you need to add a plugin called Juni. So you can just go to settings, IntelliJ, and go to plugins. I don't have a lot of plugins on this machine, but you have to go to marketplace and search for Juni. This is how, this is how it will look like. And you have to install and restart your ID. Then you will find Juni here. Now, if you want to get the early access, you need to go to Juni website and join the waiting list and you should be getting the access soon. In fact, even I was not having the access, I requested the IntelliJ team, hey, you know, I, I want to make a video. <laughs> Can you please provide that? I'm not sure if they have seen the message, but I got the access. This is what I have done. So what I've done is in the Juni, I have entered this prompt. So it says, I want to make a moving listing app, need a repo layer with S2 database and a sample data in data SQL. And that's what you can see here. And uh, the movie entity needs movie name, rating, year, and cast. Now you can do the same thing with the AI assistants. Maybe you can use Copilot or whatever assistant you are going to use. The only thing is they will give you the project files. They will give you files, code, everything. But you have to add that to your project. But in this case, Juni is smart. In fact, if I expand, it will open in two different tabs. This is the plan, okay? So it first creates the plan. It says, okay, understand the current project structure, uh, creates a simple UI. I mean, this is what, as a developer, we do, right? So as a developer, you basically set, and before you start coding, you write a plan. Okay, so first I have to uh, create a project structure, then I have to think about what kind of UI I want. Uh, if I want to create a UI, you need to have a folder where you will put all the files, uh, add JavaScript, and then once you have your UI ready, you will start with the backend. You will have a controller, then you will add different layers like services and repo layer, and then you will start working on it. So this is the plan, and then it executes the plan one by one. Now since the project, so basically what I have done is, I have created a basic Spring Boot project, okay, which is empty. I just said, okay, I want a Spring Boot project, which is Spring Web. That's the only dependency which I've added. Then basically your journey start understanding what your project structure is. Then it will open the POM file to, to see how many dependencies you have already. And that's what it, it has done here, open. And then it saw, hey, there's a web. Uh, then I don't have to add the web dependency. Then it understands what your SRC structure is, what is there in the main, what is there in the Java folder. So it tried to read everything and it takes time. Okay, I will show you how, how much time it takes. It takes time, then it researches everything, go, 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 and then it opens the application properties because you have to set some properties and by default, it will be empty. Now, since it knows that, hey, we need a S2 database and we have to have a database there, username, password should be there. So it creates its own configuration here for you to access and to make it work. Then it will open the POM file uh, to see, hey, since we want to add H2 and the 
to operate with database, you need also have a Spring JPA, Data JPA, and it will add that as well. Then it will create a movie.java file because this is where it will create a class movie and then it will have ID, name, rating, year, and car. This is what I mentioned in the prompt as well. I'm not sure what if, if, what if I don't mention those things. Let me know when you try it out. Let me know in the comment uh, what you got even if you don't mention it. And then based on it, we'll set the properties and stuff. And this, this is cool. Then, and maybe you're thinking, okay, this is just a CRUD operation, right? Where you say create, read, update, delete. Maybe you can try a complex stuff as well. And that's why the YouTube stats, and if, you, if I show you the project, this has certain logics to it, okay? And multiple things. So it's not like it only works with the simple stuff, it works with the complex stuff as well. Then it will create a repository layer, application properties, these are the, all the properties which have, it has added, which I have shown before. Then data SQL file is needed. And then the, the movie service, because we need, to, we need to also have a service layer, then the controller, it will add all the files and then it will say done. Will it work in the first go? It may not work. In fact, I've added to use, okay, let me, what's, what, what was the prompt I've used? Okay, I've also mentioned that I want the UI. In fact, this was not, not the first prompt. This was the first prompt and then I've also asked for the UI. Because in the initial scenario, I have not asked for the UI here. And then when you ask for the UI, it will start working for the UI part, which it started here. Okay, this is how it works. And the project worked, okay? And the same thing with this project. But this time, let's create a new one and I will do that quickly. And maybe I will speed up the process, speed up the video or cut the video just to show you the main part. So let me create a new project and I'm creating a Spring Boot project. You can create that from start.spring.io as well. And I will say Juni test YouTube. And I will, create, I will create a Maven project. The Java level I will set 21. Next. And the only dependency I want to add here is Spring Web by default. And I will click on create. It will create a new project. Also, I will stop the existing running project, which is here. Okay, this is a blank project which we got, right? And if you observe, SRC only has few files, only one. Uh, the resources only have this. The test is only has one file. The POM file only has one dependency, which is web and also test. And application properties is, it has only one line. Now, what kind of project we should build? Not Maven, but Juni. So we'll click on Juni here and we can assign a task here. And giving a proper prompt is important. And I'm not expert in it, but I will try. So maybe I should create a project for movie recommendation, okay? <laughs> Since we are working with movie. So I will say, create a movie recommendation app or maybe a web app with simple UI. Recommend the movie based on my liking and rating. Okay, in fact, I will just stop this. I just want to add more. Create a sample data in data.sql use h2 database okay now there's also a brave mode now when you click on brave mode basically see there are certain things where agent will give you and maybe it has to modify certain files now if you already have a project created it has a lot of files and then sometime it want to modify those files is it a good idea to give ai agent access to modify your files of course not a good idea right now in that scenario it will give you a prompt by saying okay do you want me to do this and uh, or do you want me to run the command? And you have to say yes, you have to click on the button. That's a good thing because you have a control. But sometimes let's say I don't want the control. I will simply say, okay, you do it everything. I can just click on brave mode and it will do it. Now, since this is a project which I've created, I can just ask for it. Otherwise it will give you a prompt by saying, okay, allow, run the command and stuff. And don't treat this as this as your replacement. Imagine this is something which will help you to speed up the process. Okay, so let's see what's our plan it creates. So for the query, the prompt which I've entered, it says understand the structure, review the existing files, which is prompt XML and application properties. Uh, then update the POM file to add these two things or three things, which is S2, Spring.jp and ThemeLeaf. In fact, you can also try with React, with the REST APIs, uh, set up the S2 database configuration, then uh, add repository service, create the controllers and UI. Uh, data SQL and last test the application. I'm not sure if to create the test cases. Let's see. In fact, when I tried yesterday with other project, it also created the test files or test cases and so that I can just test the entire application and see if the tests are passing. Okay, so it's still searching and as I mentioned, so I will just speed up the process there. 
So Pomodoro XML was also created. So till this point, we it started understanding the project and project understanding is done. And you can see it has also edited this file, which is the application properties while we're doing it. But if I want to see what is happening, so you can just click on it, and it will give you what are the things it is make, change, making the changes. So you can see it has added these dependencies in the application properties. Initially, it was only this. Now it has added multiple files. Uh, it created this movie.dava file. It was nothing was there, and now we have this. It is also using Lombok. That's a good thing. And uh, user rating. So you can see these are the ratings. I think as a user, I should be able to rate. Then it will create a movie repository to search the movies. If you observe, it says sending the LLM request. Now, basically, it uses LLM, which is cloud-based. I don't think everything, anything is working on this local machine because it's not getting heat up. Uh, so it's happening on the cloud. And they are using their own uh, LLM plus OpenAI and Andropic. In fact, you can see those things in the FAQ. So if you scroll down, and everything is available here for the information. And based on what, when you are watching this video, you will see some different text there. But if you check, in fact, I've checked for the LM which they are using. So they have their own configuration, plus they are using Anthropic and OpenAI. So if this is not working in your country or some of the issues, it's because of if it is available, Anthropic or OpenAI is available in your region. So after five minutes, we have done with the eight steps, okay? So there are three more steps to go. So now it's working with the UI. In fact, when I'm testing this, it's not showing the removed code of line. So before this, when I was trying, okay, so it has shown, okay. So it also checks, whenever it creates its own file, it checks if the file which is created, is it proper? If not, it will remove and add file, add the code based on that. So after seven minutes, for the ninth step, it has done these things. Again, if you're thinking this is slow, imagine if you want to write the entire code by yourself, how much time it will take. Okay, ninth step done. Two more steps. And now the last step, working with the test. So it went back to step nine because it saw there are some issues. Okay, finally after 10 minutes, 10 or 12 minutes, it has done it and now let me just test. So when I click on done, you can see all the files have been created and now to test this application, I will run this. I will enable the Lombok processing. Hopefully, it should work. If not, I should make another video debugging this and making it work. But it says Tomcat started. Let me just go back here with the same URL. And yeah, so this is the movie recommendation. We got the images as well. I know from the way it got the images. And uh, okay, enter a name. It says recommendation based on the name. Okay, enter my name, Naveen. So it's a get recommendation. And these are the recommendations. And how it is recommending this based on the thing, I think. Uh, view your rating. Maybe it misunderstood what I want. Browse movies to rate. Okay, I can also rate the movies. Okay, let's say I want to rate this movie, view details, where should I, okay, I can add my rating, and it's a very good movie for me, my name is Naveen, and click on submit. Okay, so you can see all these features, and it says trademark of 2023, <laughs> 2025, I don't know what's wrong, but uh, this is the thing, okay, so you can get everything in few minutes, and you can even modify this, so let's say if you certain, if you don't want certain features, if you want, uh, want to add certain features, you can uh, do that in the prompt, and maybe I will also write a test case. So I can say, if I want to see test case, I will write test cases. And while we're doing this, we're not going to test this, but I want to just show you. So this is how basically your genie or Juni works. I can, can I say genie because it is doing the task for us? Let's see. Okay, so that's the uh, thing from Juni. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I will surely try to make another video out of it. So yeah, AI agents are here. It's more about, don't get scared about AI agents or AI, it's just that start using them. Okay, it's more about how do we use it and make development much faster and proper. Bye-bye.